Hello everyone, my name is Pastor Sparkles. I am a streamer over on Twitch and today I'm going to be romancing Cupid Fire Emblem so you don't have to. I have been recording this video for probably six months. I took a few months off recording it because it seemed like such a great task. And then I sort of fell back in love with Fire Emblem and here we are doing this all over again. I do want to mention that in the beginning kind of parts of me recording this, I recorded my camera from my streaming software and I captured the footage of Fire Emblem within my Elgato game capture app. So there's going to be a little bit of shadowing from the kind of me camera from the first few minutes of the first months of me streaming it. But then later on, I got lazier, which was a good thing because it ended up meaning my editing was easier and just recorded it all through my streaming software. So I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you bear with me for that little bit of it. It's still all good content. So I'm excited to finally bring this to you now. This was a request from Burrows Red and Friendo Boy. Please check them out on Twitch. I really hope that you all enjoy this. It's been a real experience for me. So let's just get started. <laughs> I believe he's not one of the characters who can be romanced as a male. So female Byleth it is for the fourth time starting this game. Please forgive our intrusion. <gasps> we wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. Even though this playthrough is literally just for me to romance Hubert. Once again, I would really like to romance Dimitri Fire Emblem. Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? I suppose so. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Can I change? I can change what he looks like? I didn't know this. Oh. <gasps> Butler Daddy. Evening where it is, all the time. <gasps> there they are. Okay. I'm gonna try and get them to go to tea with me and lunch with me as much as I can. We're getting this relationship going. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Is it what I'm wearing? <laughs> Does it give it away? Just a casual crit. <gasps> Mate. Mate. Meat and fish are my area of expertise. Though I still have not mastered seasoning. It's okay, I got you, BB. Overcooked meat is too bland. I prefer it to be bleeding. Of course you do. All I look for in a meal is a full stomach. You seem to be after something more than that, Lady Edelgard. True. I feel that sharing a table with people you're close to is a precious opportunity that should never be taken for granted. Mm. <laughs> really what you want, I'll gladly keep you by my side. No. The path I must walk. Save room for me. <gasps> yes. Hello, Professor. You seem to be in good health. Of course. The music. Doesn't seem intimidated. No, not at all. It's just that I find myself a little concerned for your well-being. You see, Lady Edelgard has taken something of an interest in you. 
One of my many duties is to determine potential advantages and potential threats to Her Highness. If you prove yourself useful to Lady Edelgard, then all will be well. If you pose a threat, I shall have to dispose of you. Yes, this is no joke. While I may be a student here, I am her servant first and foremost. Therefore, if an untimely demise is not to your liking, you would do well to demonstrate your utility with all haste. I should warn you that I am far less compromising than Lady Edelgard. Do not be at ease merely because you stand in her good graces for the time being. Huh. Such confidence. I'm beginning to see why you caught her eye. If you incur our wrath, you will see just what I mean. And you guys want me to romance him? What? Whoa, why is it so cold all of a sudden? It's as if an unspeakable evil just... You're late. <laughs> You're going to execute me, aren't you? What is this? Please, let me compose my last will and testament. Or at least a swan song. So far, not convinced he's worth romancing, but okay. <laughs> We should probably invite my boy to tea. Here we go. Hmm. Speaking of, can you imagine the Archbishop being murdered? I prefer not to consider such a gruesome scenario. Interesting. That easy to get under your skin, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm so scared. Let's have some bergamot tea, yeah? He deserves some four-star tea. Did you summon me? Yeah. Thank you. Flavorful. Good options. Fuck. It was nice, I guess. Thank you. This was more enjoyable than I thought. Oh. She really is all you ever think about, isn't she? Look, I know you're doing all this so that she'll like you, but if you go too far, she'll end up pushing you away. Maybe even hate you. If Aidy commanded you to find yourself a suitable wife, would you do it? If it would benefit her in some way for me to marry, then yes, I would marry. Mm, it's easy to say that now, with no bridal party in sight. But if it was the day of the wedding? Nah, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. My only wish is to see Lady Edelgard fulfill her ambitions. All other matters pale in comparison. It's gonna be so awkward. But he still likes me. It was worth it. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her.
my god. It seems I am discovered. I suppose that means assassination is out of the question. At least for now. Unusually watchful. Difficult to steal upon in slumber. Perhaps an odorless, tasteless poison. Lady Edelgard certainly took interest in a difficult one this time. When I look at you, I feel I can almost see a second self lurking beneath the surface. It is as if you are in constant dialogue with something inside your heart. Something with desires very different from your own. Does that description feel familiar to you at all? Because to me, you seem unpredictable. As though you could turn traitor at any moment. The more I learn about you, the less I like. I had thought you might be of use to Lady Edelgard, but now I am beginning to think you may, through no fault of your own, present too great a risk. I hope you will prove me wrong, Professor. Yeah. I would hate for this to come to bloodshed. I still have absolutely no idea why you guys want me to romance him. Thank you. This was more enjoyable than I thought. Ooh, ooh. the other day and I've just got to know do you really love Aidy? if it's one or the other I suppose it would be closer to love than to hate why ah uh, I knew it that's why you work so hard for Aidy. oh Hubie I finally get you you're just another servant suffering from unrequited love for their mistress my situation is simple I am walking a path. Oh, do go on. Everyone has a path in life. Lady Edelgard has shown me mine. It is just beside her own. So we walk together side by side. We stride ever forward, yielding to nothing and to no one. I have many feelings toward Lady Edelgard. Gratitude, respect, awe, empathy, trust, Hope. Okay. I was teasing you, but I gotta say I'm just a little bit jealous of you and Aidy. That you're able to embrace these feelings and stride forward along the same path. You're lucky, Hubie. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to experience anything so utterly... operatic. My earliest memory of you is of when you were injured. I recall being scolded most sternly by my father. You are Lady Edelgard's servant, he said. You must protect her with your life. I had no idea. But House Vestra has served House Resfeld for generations. Given that, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Indeed. After that, I made certain to accompany you wherever you went. Each house must select a representative to compete. Their dance shall be judged by its beauty, grace, and technique. The student, who is deemed the winner, will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. I hope that you and your students will choose to participate. On a lighter note, I've heard you've yet to choose a class representative for the White Heron Cup. It's not something I'm interested in, but... If no one else wants to do it, then I will shoulder the burden. <laughs> How very whimsical of you. I suppose I'll have to do what I can. Ahem! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to... the Academy-wide dance competition! Welcome to the White Heron Cup! The competition will be judged by me. Con 
contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well. Begin! That's all, folks. Splendid. All three of you were fantastic. <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh, my. Let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Black Eagle House. Your performance was exhilarating. My heart is still beating a mile a minute. I vote for Golden Deer House. Can't say why. And I will announce who it is right now, without any delay. The winner of this year's White Heron Cup is the yes. Black Deer House. <laughs> I am not sure the judges are in their right minds. Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. Here for a tryst, Professor? I won't interfere. I shall take my leave at once. Farewell. Yes, what is it? I assume you are waiting on someone. I see. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Then I take it you are unfamiliar with the rumors about this place? There is an old legend that says promises made between lovers here are sure to be fulfilled. <laughs> if you believe in that sort of thing. I would have expected you to be familiar with the story already, considering how popular you are. I was certain that someone had asked you here. No need to sound so dejected. I suspect those who wished to ask were simply too daunted to try. But thanks to their cowardice, I am gifted with this opportunity to speak with you. It's clear you have never felt at ease around me. As a result of how little trust there is between us, I should get back to the ball regardless. I imagine there would be quite a scene if you turned out to be lying. Trust is not in my nature. Good night. <laughs> now isn't the time for discussion. Words yeah. cannot properly express my gratitude, Professor. Oh, you can romance me, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Nice place, isn't it, Professor? Standing here, you can almost feel the goddess's absence. Discounting what dwells within you, of course. You are the one closest to the enemy. I wonder if you will be able to maintain your humanity to the end. You make it sound easy. I find myself trusting you. Even with my life. <laughs> I've already dedicated my life to Lady Edelgard. To throw my lot in with you is inconceivable. But if I had two lives to give, I might devote one of them to you. We could be a couplet of birds flying alongside the Sovereign of Black Eagles. Mm -hmm. House Vestra is one of few noble houses not to lay claim to any territory. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. This was more enjoyable than I thought.
I've been thinking. What's this all about now? It's about what you said before. About your path. You mean the path that Lady Edelgard and I walk? I guess I don't really understand that kind of thing since I've always been focused on my own goals. But you, Aidy, Professor, all of you I'm are fighting now. for an ideal. <laughs> That's big. It touches everyone. Then there's me. With my hands full thinking of just myself. One person seems enough to me. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Do you have something more to say, Dorothea? It is unlike you to seem so uncertain. <laughs> I guess so. I'm sorry, Hubie. It's just, I've been thinking a lot lately about whether Aidy might command you to marry me. What? Uh, what? <laughs> Perhaps Aidy might command you. No need to repeat it. I heard you quite clearly. Dorothea, what the fuck? Like I said, my hands are full thinking of just one person. But if you and I were devoted to one another, maybe we could strive for the future you believe in. Maybe I'd finally understand your path and be able to think about more than just myself. It seems it's my turn to not understand. Did you just propose marriage as a way to get to know me? How exactly would such an arrangement benefit me? Oh, it'll benefit you. Dorothea! Well, this path you're walking with Aidy will have one more loyal follower. Isn't that enough? I suppose it may well be. Your contribution to our cause has been noteworthy. I've no complaints about your battle prowess, either. And if you were able to walk the path as I do, that would be something very special. Now I have Dorothy so, to compete with. It? How can I compete? This is all because so of I you, you know. You made me wonder what it's like to be wholly devoted to another person. <laughs> all right. I'll consider it. Better fucking not back that ass up. What in the fuck? <gasps> Hubert's birthday. Tea party. <laughs> It's an important day. Um, I I don't even remember how to have tea with him. Uh oh. What? Yes. <laughs> uh, Sometimes I like to imagine that you were sent to us by a rival of the goddess to bring her low. Nod. Oh, no. Fuck! It could have been perfect. Thank you. Dang it. Chat? Couldn't have been disagreeing. Ugh. Sorry. <sighs> it looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. No. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Wait, are we doing this now? We're doing this now! It's the end! All right, let's see it. Oh, I am so nervous. Yes, I want to share my life with Hubert. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. You've kept me waiting. Where have you been? The war may be over, but matters of government, diplomacy, and justice remain to be dealt with. There is one problem in particular that must be sorted first, however. You. Rather, you and me. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to think I had rehearsed a long preamble. Now when it matters, it's all vanished from memory as suddenly as the morning dew. To the point then. I love you. Uh... <laughs> In fact, I wish to marry you. Uh... Yes, gladly. <laughs> Your candid sincerity is overwhelming. You must have known all along that I had feelings for you. Uh... I've already spoken to Her Majesty about this. She told me to follow my heart. She seems to prefer that you be with me rather than some dubious individual. So you could say that we have her blessing. Is that a ring? 
You came here with the same idea. I cannot believe I am saying this. I am truly happy. Look at him blushing. I am afraid you've outdone me. I've brought no such token. <laughs> Not much of a suitor, am I? I've never done well with gifts or flattery. Protecting you is easy. But to be a good husband... <sighs> of course such a thing doesn't bother you. I hope I can support you with the same tenacity. Thank you for doing me this honor. <laughs> I once thought killing you would be a great challenge, but aye, aye, aye. the real difficulty was declaring my love. After a fierce battle, Byleth and Edelgard finally brought the tyranny of a godlike being to an end. Though wounded in the conflict and stripped of divine power, Byleth continued to fight alongside the Emperor to bring true peace. Hubert joined them in this fight, fulfilling his promise to confront those who slither in the dark head on. In that darkness, Byleth and Hubert formed an unbreakable bond. It is said that, as a married couple, they were totally inseparable! <laughs> oh my god! I am overwhelmed! <laughs> Oh my god, okay, well, there we go, I guess I I have now, I romanced Hubert Fire Emblem so you don't have to, although I think we might have come to the conclusion that I, I like Hubert. <laughs> I don't even know what to think anymore, like, like I hated him so much in the Blue Lions. And I mean, I also didn't like him for most of this playthrough, like most of his supports with other people, I found hard to watch. Dorothea was a, had me absolutely blindsided. What the fuck? Step off Dorothea. <laughs> I guess I'm happy, you know, like I didn't want to like him. I didn't want to like him at all. And you know what? This romance gave me what I wanted from Felix. It was a difficult beginning and I had to chip away to get the soft loveliness inside. And I got loveliness in the ending. So... He's not my favorite, but oh my God, is he much better than most romances? That's saying something. Thanks for watching this absolute shit show of a romance pathway. I still can't believe I did this. Leave a comment below telling me what you think. Did you think it was gonna turn out this way? Did you think I was gonna react this way? Woo! I don't know, I certainly didn't. If you enjoy the content here on this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. And I hope that you guys have an amazing day, night, whatever you are having. I will see you all later.